This is code.org, and here we are. So this is going to be where we would test someone else's library or our own. The instructions say someone else's. I'm going to test out my own. And the nice thing or the thing that is different about this screen is if I go back here, this is where I wrote my library. And this is not what I'm going over for this part of the video. So if you don't have a library, if you don't have stuff here, you want to go back and make sure you build out your library. Now, though, I want to demonstrate how someone could test a library, whether you're testing yours or your neighbors, and how to make a use of it. So this is different than, well, this is blank, and it's blank because now I can test it. Well, how do I test it? I can hit this gear icon and see Manage Libraries. And I've already published mine, which I showed you in the last video. And here's the name of it. I can view the full code by clicking Serial Calorie Quiz. All right. So now let me go ahead and test. I can do a, uh, let's do a D a council log. Council log. And what am I going to log? I'm actually going to, let me get out of text mode. I think it's easier to read for you guys. Let me do a variable at the top. And so I'm not going to put this in any function because I'm just testing things out. So I'm going to do a variable. My variable is going to be uh, all serial. Nope, let's not do that. Actually, let's do random index. And random index is going to be equal to function. And I want to use, will it autofill? It won't. So I want to use the, the, the same way we were doing before to call a library. And so if you forgot, that's the library's name. And you can always see the full function definition like I was just showing you. Here's my library. Oh, here's my library name. I might just copy that, honestly. And I'm going to get a random index. Okay, it doesn't need a parameter. So now I'm going to go back here, back, back. And I'm going to put that name of my library. And then I'm going to do get random index because that's what I named that function. Now, this should be a random value in between 0 and the length of the list. So then what do I want to do? Well, I would like to get the name of the serial. Let's try. So what did I do for that? Here it is. And we can just test out. Oh, that's just get name. Awesome. So now I'm going to do var equals and say serial name and same idea. Serial calorie quiz dot get name. And this should return a name, but I have to give it an index. Well, what index do I have? Well, I know this index is within the list, right? That index is contained within the list because I made sure of it when I created that function for the library. So random index. Now, what should I do with this? Well, why don't I print it out? So I'm going to say um, name colon. And then since it's a variable, it can't be in the in the quotations. And I'm going to write serial name, and that should output to the council what our serial is. Oh, we got to import it. Manage libraries. And that should have imported it. All right, now let's hit run. Uh, oh, git's probably lowercase. I'm lo used to Unity. And Unity in C sharp, you do uppercase. Now what is it telling me? All right. Oh, we got to get the data right makes sense serial nutrition i need to import that there we are few details boom oatmeal raisin crisp wheaties honey gold corn jacks okay and so we can really easily test if the name's working let's see if the image is working i'm just gonna add a few a little bit of design here to test it out fully um why not throw a theme on it uh lemonade sure all right eh. Perfect. All right, now I need an image area because we're going to test if this works. Uh, box pick, okay? And then I'm going to have a place to guess the calories. So let's have a text input and a guess. I'm just going to say guess BTN and guess. And I'm not going to put a lot of text here because, again, I'm just making sure this all works. Uh, guess input and placeholder will be 40, I guess. All right, great. So now we have this little area. Let's test out the other stuff. So I'm going to do an on event. 
undo that, control Z. I'm gonna do an on event. On the event that guess is clicked, what do I wanna do? I wanna grab a guess input. So I'll do a variable um, guess, and this will be their guess. And what's it gonna be equal to? Well, I'm gonna do a get number, not get text, because it needs to be a number. Get number, and what number of guess input? Okay, so get that number, and then what do I wanna do? Well, I wanna compare it to the serial. So to do that, I should look at my code. And how do I guess? Here it is right here, check calories. I need the guess and then the index of the serial I'm checking against. So, and it's gonna return true or false. So we'll counsel log. Well, here. Correct, playable. I'll leave it blank. Make a guess or take guess. Okay, and uh, so then what I'll do now is say var right, is it right? What I'll do is do serial calorie quiz dot get name, not get name, <laughs> dot check guess. And then what am I going to put in there? Well, it was the index to calories. It was the guess in the index. So the guess, which is guess, and then the index, I'm going to just say it's, um, yeah, index. I'll use that. No, we don't have that yet. We need to make sure we get that. Oh, wait. Yes, we do. It's the random index. That's what we're comparing it against. So I'll put random index there. And now this is a Boolean, so it'll be true or false. Is it correct? True or false? And what I'll do then is if it is correct, so I'll say if, if right, because if it's true, it will run. If it's not, it won't. If right, UI, set text, set text of what? This guy, correct label, to you got it exclamation point else just gonna copy this block control c click down here or somewhere sure control v paste wrong okay now what else do i need well i don't even know what serial i'm guessing if i don't have the image automatically update so then I also need this when I hit run to update the image. So I'm going to create a function that will say update image. And what will update image do? Well, I'm going to have it do what this does. Get the serial's name, gets the random index. So I'm going to copy that, put that down here. But I need these accessible. I need these universal. So I'm going to have them declare it up here, but defined down below. So I'm leaving their var statement. That way everything can use these, but we'll run update image whenever we need to change it. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to call that function here because right when the program starts, we should run it. And then we should also run it after each guess. So even if they get it wrong, I'm going to change up the image and name. Yep. And then once we change the name, the other thing we want to do is get this image change. So I'm going to run serial calorie quiz, get serial image. And I know which image I need because it's the random index. Same with name. We want the random index and that's going to get the image. But what am I going to do with that image? I could save it to a variable, but really I can just set it immediately to box pick. So I could do UI. I could do UI set property box pick image and I could make a variable for this I definitely could and use the variables name here but I can also place this whole big long thing right there let's try okay debugging is phone I guess I'll use a variable now so I can debug I'm about to do a bunch of stuff trying to figure out why this isn't working. Really, I just needed to refresh the screen, but I did add that cpick variable. I did put a default 
uh, image in uh, an icon just so I knew why it wasn't working. Once I refresh the page, though, everything works fine. Oh, there we go. I just needed to refresh. Boom, there's my surreal. Now let me guess. 50. Guess. Wrong. And the serial changes. Raisin Bran Squares. Let's look up Raisin Bran Squares so I get it right. Is it alphabetized? It's alphabetized. Raisin Bran. No, Raisins. Raisin Squares? Raisin Squares. 90 calories. You got it. Woohoo! It works. And that's how you can test out your library. We've done some pretty complicated stuff. But, yep, there's my test. Libraries are working. <laughs> Onward.